Hey and welcome to another video. In this tutorial I will quickly show you how you can set up Doppler textures for knives. You can also apply this method to marble fade knives and skins like the M4 Blue Phosphor. In this video I will use a Karambit Emerald. Before we start, make sure you watch these two videos first, as we need the methods of both of these videos to get going. You will need UMod and the Source Tool add-on for Blender. Alternatively, you can use the CS DIN add-on instead of using the Source Tool add-on. To get all the relevant textures, open up UMod and start the game with it. Load in the template you saved. Make sure the texture size is correct, 1024 by 1024. Now head over to float.db or just use an inspect link of any Doppler knife. In my case, I will choose a Karambit Emerald. Just open up the inspect link and inspect the skin in game. Wait for the skin to load in and check if your textures are in the UMod texture folder. This knife looks so damn good. Now while in Blender, you can use the CSDIN add-on to import the knife of your choice. If you want to use the Source Tools add-on, simply click on Import and look for Source Engine Model. Now open up the folder you downloaded. Go into the Weapons folder. Here you will see all the guns and knives. Look for the gun of your choice, in my case, the Karambit. Make sure you import the V underscore model of the knife, not the W underscore model, and import it as shown. You can delete the bones the knife came with. Just select them and press delete or the X key on your keyboard. Now go into the shading tab that is shown above. Select the knife to see the materials. Here you can see the base color of the knife and the roughness texture. The roughness texture is very important. That's why we need programs like UMod to get the textures. Sites like karambit.gg don't provide them. Now import the base color texture of the knife and replace it with the current one as shown. You can then delete the old one. Do the same for the roughness texture. Make sure to set the color space to non-color. Now to fine tune, we will separate the blade from the handle. Select the knife and go into edit mode. Press L on your keyboard to select the parts that have the Doppler texture. Then press P and choose Selection. Now head back to the Shading tab. Go into Object Mode and select the blade. Click the little number box to give the blade its own material. Now increase the metallic of the blade to your liking. I went for a very high metallic number. To control the roughness, you can increase or decrease the math node that says Multiply. Now edit the handle to your liking. I recommend disconnecting the specular line and turn it down to something very low. Then you can create any scene you want. I will just use something simple. Sped up for your time's sake. Select your camera and click on the small camera icon on the right. Navigate to Viewport Display and increase the Passpart 2 to get a better feel of what your render will look like. Now just set up your lighting. I chose a simple HDRI. Once you are happy with the scene, click on the blade again and you can add in bright contrast node to give the Doppler texture some extra pop. Use the same values as shown. Simply drag and drop the node into the yellow line. Now just further tune it to your liking and style. Once you are done rendering, head over to Pixlr R and use the great punch filter to make it look even cooler. Look at that beauty. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps some of you. Make sure to follow this channel and join our great Discord server to get all the latest news and updates.